I have a great deal of respect for and pride in our National Guard. The men and women who wear that uniform have been sent in harm's way over and over. Guard and reserve forces being activated and called to stand side by side with the regular uh, service counterparts and they have performed in exemplary fashion. For the past 11 years, over 15,000 Arkansas Army and Air National Guardsmen have deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan, and numerous other locations around the globe to answer the call of our nation. Even though we will continue to see troop levels decrease in Afghanistan, the world continues to be a dangerous place. We must never forget that readiness is our number one priority. Readiness is our key, making sure we're ready through our MOS, our jobs, and making sure that we're medically ready. We can't let our foot off the gas, no matter if we're going downrange or not. We need to make sure we keep the mission first. And we need to use our combat experience veterans to make sure we pass that experience down to our new soldiers to make sure that we're a force that's ready to go. The Guard's been proving itself since the Gulf War started. Gulf War, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, even today. We're proving our value, we're proving our worth, and so we need to keep that mission going forward. And our state mission is important as well. We provide emergency response for hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, fires, snow, all that kind of stuff. Since 1636, that's what we've been doing. You know, of course, the mission is um, to provide trained and ready professionals to be able to respond anywhere in the state, the community, our uh, nation. And I believe that's uh, Pearlmont and, and a guardsman. Who does that better than us? It gives us the ability to move our people to other locations, and sometimes we might need to put our people where we need to make arrests or do things like that. But we still got to have traffic control points. We still have to have security in the neighborhoods, things like that. So by having the guard there, it's given us the manpower to utilize for positions that we've got to man. They are professional leaders. They've already been trained. They're disciplined. They're motivated. They have a great work ethic. And being a guardsman, I know more about my community than someone who lives outside the community. So, so I, I'm very, very proud of what they bring to the table. And I'd be proud to serve with them anywhere, being on the National Guard side or here in this capacity. As we continue to plan and prepare for state emergencies, it is important that we continue to pre-stage personnel and equipment and conduct training exercises with local authorities. However, we must recognize the fact that our greatest challenge is the fiscal uncertainty that we face for the near term and for the next couple of years. Part of the Air Force budget cuts will result in the loss of our A-10s and the 188th Fighter Wing. However, we must recognize the fact that the 188th worked diligently with the tremendous community supporters in Northwest Arkansas and our congressional delegation to secure a viable, relevant mission for our airmen. As the world changes and the nature of warfare as we've known it evolves, let's keep in mind that as the 188th Fighter Wing transitions to remotely piloted aircraft missions, they will secure a foothold in the Air Force's future. Times change and, and technology changes, and uh, that changes every organization, and the military is no exception. And it probably, for the long haul, is really good for us to, to be involved in that. We, we don't like to see it occur, but we'll embrace it uh, just because of our love and support of the military. 
it, it's a positive transition for us. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, there's some uncertainty. We got our a lot of work ahead of us, but uh, we'll do it. We'll adapt and overcome. Now, the National Guard is historically touted that we're the most cost-effective asset the nation has in its military arsenal. In our pursuit to maintain readiness with reduced resources, we have the opportunity to do what we've been proclaiming for almost two years. We've got to focus on the basics. With a projected reduction in mobilizations and deployments, we now have an opportunity to concentrate on those soldier and airman skills that are critical to building a solid warrior foundation. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. Uh, there's going to be some things we're used to that we're not going to get anymore. And it's going to be up to our leaders today to be more creative and try to find ways to make training exciting and fun, but also to make sure that we keep our readiness that we have right now. And I think it's going to make us better soldiers. You know, we keep talking about today's generation and how uh, it seems every generation we lose more values and convictions, but I'm here to argue that point. Uh, I'm seeing young men and women that have hearts of the line, and, and one example is uh, Sergeant Matthew Howard from uh, the 142nd Fires Brigade. Last year was the uh, National Guard Bureau NCO of the Year, and how every level of competition, it was his heart that got him through it. The willingness to keep going on and not quit. I see that in every men and women that I, I, I talk to every day. They're willing to put the mission first, never accept defeat, never quit. The Guard has definitely made me a better man and definitely made me grow up real quick. It's a great experience. You get to serve your community and then when you're needed, you can serve your country and your state. And in return, I get the opportunity to, to go to school, to fly a helicopter. And what red-blooded American doesn't like to shoot guns and blow stuff up? Ah! We fully understand that none of us serves alone. We couldn't do our mission without our family support. When he signed his name on that line, that was the same as me signing mine. We have to depend on our civilian employers. Without those employers, we can't function. And our funding levels may change, but one thing that will remain constant are our core values that are at the very heart and soul of this organization. And it is imperative that we ensure that the soldiers and airmen of the Arkansas National Guard remain capable of being always ready always there.